And this week was installation week, which is always lots of fun, right? Uh, Monday and Tuesday was a bunch of frantic activity in all, in all corners of, of the art program. And then all of a sudden on Wednesday, you're setting the lights. It's all really beautiful. You've taken away all the power drills and the paint brushes and swept the floor. And wow, it's an exhibition. And I can't wait for you all to see it. So to introduce each of these exhibitions, our students will come up and tell you about it briefly, concisely, and wonderfully. All right, cool. I'm a little short, but that's OK. All right, good evening. My name is Sabrina Alonzo, and my senior project exhibition, Grounded, is located in the art lab in the library. As a species, humankind has forgotten to give gratitude to the natural resources found on our planet. So many of us have become disconnected to this primal relationship, but it is through plants that you're able to experience this own reconnection in your own way. So I'm gonna invite you to please join me in the art lab and see the variety of colors, textures, and patterns that I have used in my calligraph prints, as well as my ceramic seed pod installation. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jacob Beal, and my senior project, A Life Beyond, is located in the main gallery. A Life Beyond treads along the delicate line between our mortality and our mental state. It is an opportunity for what I believe we all have to be, and that is alive and excited about it. Um, I've created this exhibition through a variety of printmaking and painting processes. I would like to thank Andy Owen, Andy Morris, Mary Wojtek, and the rest of our faculty, he faculty here at FGCU. And I look forward to meeting you all at the uh, main gallery. Good evening. My name is Tiffany Billings. Um, my exhibition title is called Creativity Mind Over Matter. It's located in the main gallery. My exhibition is about the brain and the creative process. Through my own personal experiences and my research, I have found that we can all benefit from practicing creativity in our everyday lives. Through the practice of artistic cognitive skills, I have been able to manipulate how my skills are used from one hemisphere to the other. Through practice, I have been able to balance my logical and creative ways of thinking. Hence, my media use of the computer you will see three digital paintings. They are very large and very colorful, and they represent the creative, our creative um, creativity um, that we all go through but do not see. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. My name is Jordan Blankenship, and my senior project exhibition is called Structuring Light, located in the art lab. My inspiration for this body of work evolves around my experience in the summer of 2015 walking to the Cathedral of Notre Dame. I became fascinated by the forms created in the pointed arches, the rose windows, and the fan vault ceilings. I began to analyze how each feature contributed to the structural integrity of the piece, as well as the, structure between, uh, the contrast between the structure and light. In my series of ceramic pieces, I've cut through the clay, allowing um, light to pass through the form and cast shadows on the wall. Each piece has been inspired by its patterns and shapes referenced in architectural monuments. I would like to take this moment and thank all those who have gotten me to this point. Without my friends, without my family, and without my professors, I probably wouldn't have made it here today. And they've always pushed me to reach my goals. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Hannah Brazacchio, and the title of my senior project exhibition is Vishu, the Hindi word for equinox. I use digital media design to show an example of a nonprofit yoga studio which includes active wear that supports the donation process. My works include branding identity, marketing materials, photography, videography, and the legging pieces. My themes focus on honoring our true, authentic self, 
both light and dark within. I'd like to take this moment to thank my family who's all here to support me, especially my mom and everybody who participated in this project. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Marshall Bino. My piece tonight is Liminality, which is my graphic novel. The meaning behind the word liminality is in between or transition point, which is very important because I combine two different styles of hand-drawn elements and digital elements to create my piece. Also, the word is important because it represents a switch in the art styles from two different points in the comic, where the main character travels from one world to another. My piece is located in the main gallery and I'd love for you all to join me on that journey. And I would like to thank my friends and family, many of which who are here tonight, and the art faculty who helped me along on this process. Thank you. everyone, my name is Brianna Criswell, and tonight my presentation is Over the River, a comic located in the art lab. Over the years, my grandmother told me hundreds of hundreds of stories, many of which make up some of the happiest memories I have with her. So tonight, I invite you to join me in one of those memories. I created a comic through pencil, ink, and digital text to draw you into a story about my grandmother, her sister, and the train that nearly ran them both over. <laughs> and I would like to take this moment to thank the professors who have worked with me over the years, my mom for being so supportive, and of course, my grandmother, who sadly could never be here tonight. Thank you, enjoy. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming. My name is Caitlin Dowis, and my exhibition is titled Kindred, and it is located in the main gallery. My body of work is based off the time during the Great Depression when people could no longer afford to pay rent and their mortgages and resorted to living in tents and shacks that they made. Through photography, I have expressed my interpretation of what it would look like for a group of artists and performers to live together at this time and creating a kindred community. Um, I'd like to take this time to thank um, everyone that participated in the project, all my models and my uh, photo assistant and my parents for always being supportive and um, James Greco, even though he couldn't make it, for being a great photography mentor. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Taryn Estrada, and my senior exhibition is titled Memory Maps, located in the main gallery. A few months ago, I had the opportunity to work in a uh, memory care facility using art therapy. And in the beginning, the patient that I was working with was very timid and reserved. However, I noticed that um, correlating the color schemes and textures to her personal memories brought back the life in her eyes. Seeing the power of art and the enhancement that it has to our memories, I decided to do a similar project on myself and in creating memory maps. Thank you. Hello, my name is Adriana Flores and my title my exhibition is titled Madre Mia um, and it's uh, located in the main gallery. As a narrative painter, I draw inspiration from the stories of people's everyday lives. For my exhibition, I was inspired by my own stories and experiences of motherhood. Um, it is a series of four paintings of the four generations of females in my life who have also experienced, ex been exposed to, or um, have their own stories of motherhood. Becoming a mother has been mo one of the most scariest and most blessed experiences of my life. Um, it has taught me joyfulness, unconditional love, and uh, how to appreciate all the small things in life. Um, <laughs> I want to thank my—I uh, want to thank God for giving me the best role model, which is my mom. 
um, my family for all their support, and <laughs> sorry. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Marilee Franco. My exhibition is titled It Starts Here, and it is located in the main art gallery. My artwork is about the farm workers in Immokalee, Florida that face abuses in the field as well as can face modern day slavery as well. I worked with the Student Farm Worker Alliance and the Coalition of Immokalee Workers in order to learn more about their human rights movement and the Fair Food Program. One of the greatest takeaways that I had was with awareness and commitment can come great change. I would like to thank the Coalition of Immokalee Workers, the Student Farm Worker Alliance, and the farm workers themselves for all of their hard work, and as well as my family, friends, boyfriend, and art faculty here at FGCU. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ty. My project is located in the main gallery. It's titled Regress. Mm. Oh, sorry. Um, my project is titled Regress. Um, shit. <laughs> I'm done. But. Kelsey Hallbeck. My senior project is titled Kintsugi and it's located in the main gallery. The goal of this series of work is to show the optimism behind the repair that humans go through after they've suffered some sort of trauma. To display this, I combined Kintsugi, a 15th century Japanese reparative ceramics practice, which is where I adopted my title from, with 17th century Dutch vanitas flower metaphors. Historically, cherry blossoms and peonies have been used to represent the transience of human life and fragility of emotion. I used these as my subject matter and then incorporated kintsugi when I tore and repaired all of my dry point prints and drawings with gold thread. Kintsugi believes that objects are stronger and more beautiful for having been broken, so the break is specifically highlighted with gold to emphasize that, which is why I did what I did and why I also believe this is a concept that can be applied to humans as well. I would like to thank my mom, my sister, and my friends for being here and being super loving during this process, as well as Andy Morris and Andy Owen for their support as well. Thank you and enjoy. Hello, my name is Amanda Martin. The title of my exhibition is Dysmorphic Disconnect. It's located in the main gallery. We are obsessed with the weight and the shape of our bodies as people, and body dysmorphic disorder is a mental disease where a person fixates on a single part of themselves until it consumes their every thought. And I have used this project to explore my own thoughts on my body. And in the beginning, it was very negative, uh, but through replicating parts of myself in ceramic pieces, I have come to a lighthearted and almost humorous conclusion on my body. And I would like to thank Patricia Fay for helping me change my, uh, my mind. Thank you. Definitely going to have to raise this here. All right, hello everybody, thank you for coming tonight. My name is Anna Nunez and my senior project is titled A Middle Voice. It's located in the main gallery. This body of work is an exploration of my creative process. As I went about this semester, I created over 230 abstract paintings and prints that all had the intention of trying to understand why I create the things that I create. It was inspired by this Greek concept of there being a middle voice or a middle space that exists between the mind of the artist and their hand as they work. 
And so I would really love the opportunity to elaborate more on what that means to me over in the gallery with you. Over in the gallery, I would also love for you to come take part in an interactive installation that I created as part of my display. And lastly, before I have to go, or before I go, I'd like to thank my friends and family for coming tonight. Uh, my parents for always supporting my dreams, my husband for being so kind to me throughout this process, and the faculty here at FGCU for making this program a really beautiful experience for me. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Donald Smith. The name of my senior exhibition is called Maze and is located in the main gallery. Maze is a game that I created using video game design. My inspiration for creating it was based off the fact that I'm a gamer who wanted to make something for both gamers and non-gamers. I created a game that is both simple to play and provide a context for more the advanced players. I want to give a special thanks to my family, the faculty, my fellow art majors, and the Viv Game Design Club who helped me become a fair game designer. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah Wasson, and my senior project, um, titled Depth Through Dilution, is located in the main gallery lobby. Inspired by my childhood growing up around water, my show is an abstract interpretation of the movement, fluidity, and relationship between man and water explored through four paintings. I would like to thank my friends, family, and faculty here at FGCU for supporting me through my college career. Thank you. Thank you.